in Watertown. Um, and Michael, we understand that uh, you are unable to get back to your home following this lockdown. Tell us what's happened to you. Yeah, we were traveling back to get to the house uh, from Logan International, picking up this little guy here. He's eight weeks old, Alaskan Malamute, for my daughter. My daughter's with me here somewhere. And uh, on the way back home, uh, we were just in the middle of everything. A lot of, a lot of police cars chasing going on, like a manhunt. And uh, just kind of followed me from Boston International, Logan, right to my doorstep over on uh, Spruce Street in Watertown. We got to our street about four hours away, and we told them, we were told to find a uh, another place to sleep for the night. Uh, at that point, we uh, managed back here for another attempt, and then everybody showed up. All the media. This has caught you uh, completely unaware. So crazy oh, we can see that this has caught you completely I'm sorry. unaware as you. We say that this has caught you completely unaware, obviously, because you know, you've been to pick up your puppy. What are police saying to you about what's going on? Are they giving you much information? Well, they said that uh, my street was, like, right in the middle of things, that uh, no one in, no one out. And uh, from what I understand, uh, I don't even know if it's true or not, but I was in the middle of the news uh, live broadcasts, and they were indicating that there was some building on a street in Watertown, Talcott, that uh, may have the uh, the guy might be uh, staying in there, trying to avoid people. That they tripped an alarm, silent alarm. And uh, I don't even know if that's still the case at this point. That it may be international uh, and related to the uh, the uh, marathon bombing. And that's uh, and, and somebody lost their life. An officer lost their life. It's totally uh, chaos. Okay, well, Michael, uh, we'll leave you. You have to make arrangements of somewhere else to sleep tonight, so we'll leave you to that. But thank you for speaking us, uh, to us here on Sky News. That's uh, Michael, a local resident. Who